Hey everyone, it's me Bailey and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me reading Goodreads recommendations based on my five star read. So I've done this video in the past and you guys seemed to really like that video so I figured I wanted to do it again. I am looking for a five star book. I have been looking for a five star book. I have read quite a few this year. I've read a lot more than I did last year so I feel like it has been a good year for me for the five star read but I'm hoping to find some more. So with that being said we are going to Goodreads and hopefully they can recommend me some five star books based on books that I've given five stars previously. So if you didn't watch that first video I essentially am going to go to my Goodreads go to the recommendations tab and it will give me a list of recommendations based off of my shelves. So I shelve my five stars separately so it is a very like curated list. They give you usually 50 titles that they think that you might like and then they will give you like like a little comparison like based on so it'll be like based on like we think that you would like this because you read this book this book this book if that makes sense which I mean I'm gonna throw up a screen recording and we're gonna go through it right now so let me go ahead and throw up my screen recording all right so here is my Goodreads and so we're gonna go to the browse and the recommendations tab next we're gonna go over here to recommendations by shelf where it is five stars and it has given me 49 books that it thinks that I would like based on five star books that I've read previously. So I'm going to look and see which ones have the most in common. So I'm going to either do four or five books in common and I'm just going to take note. So we're just going to go through the list. Um, like I mentioned there's 49 titles on this list so we're just going to try to go as quickly as we can. So the first one we've got The Women and it's got four. Hunter Games with one. Loving Romeo with two. Face Off with one. Just This Once with one. Crossroads with two. Local Woman Missing with two. Burnout with one. Never Lie with three. Alive and Wells with two. Simon Bush's The Hopio Sapiens Agenda with one. The Inmate with two. Things We Left Unfinished with three. Still Beating with two. Funny Story with one. The Locked Door with two. The Outsiders with one. Where's Molly with one. Ward D with two. The Graham Effect with three. Home Run Proposal with one. Light Lark with two. The Drowning Woman with two. Savor It with two. Everything Everything with one. The Teacher with four. Summer Romance with three. The Soulmate Equation with one. That Sick Love with one. Dust Storm with two. King of Wrath with four. One True Loves with three. The Coworker with two. This Summer Will Be Different with two. What the River Knows with one. Home is Where the Bodies Are with one. The Quiet Tenant with two. Everyone Here is Lying with two. She's Not Sorry with two. Fangirl Down with two. Little Stranger with one. A Study and Drowning with one. Collide with two. If He Had Been With Me with two. Good Bad Girl with one. The Fury with one. Romantic Comedy with one. Once You're Mine with one. And Same Time Next Summer with two. So the most books was four books in common and I had three that had four books in common. So for this video I will be reading those three books. So we had The Women by Kristen Hanna. The Teacher by Frieda McFadden. And King of Wrath by Anna Hong. So those are the three books that I'm going to be reading in this video. I'm really excited about this list because I feel like it has like a bit of everything. It's got a literary fiction, it's got a mystery thriller, and it's got a romance which are all three some of my favorite genres. So I'm super excited to be reading these three books in this video. It's funny that I got the women because I'm actually reading that for another video as well. So I will be reading the women in two videos. So I'm excited about that. But yeah so that is all for this intro clip and I will update you guys a little bit later once I start these books. Hello. Okay, so I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I finished The Teacher by Frida McFadden and this book. Um, so this book had me quite a bit shook and even more disgusted. So this book follows two, I guess technically three main characters. We've got two teachers and one student and the two teachers are married and then we have one student who was a problem student the previous school year and there was an ordeal that happened with her 
her and a previous teacher that the teacher has since been let go from the school or they resigned and so we're essentially following these two teachers who are married and the student and this was not at all what I was expecting so the ending left me quite a bit surprised quite a bit shook that very last plot twist I did not expect the one that was in the epilogue did not expect that and I honestly had to look it up to make sure that I was reading what I thought that I was reading but yeah so I did finish this today and I have decided to rate this book three and a half stars so the premise of this video is for me to find a five star based on recommendations from Goodreads and I had high hopes that this was going to be a five star and in the immediate moment of me finishing it, this book for a second I was like okay is this a five star but then I was like but honestly it also kind of feels like a one star at the same time so I feel like a three and a half star is like the perfect happy medium because I was so unsure about what I wanted to rate this book I felt like there were some aspects of it that I loved but there were also some aspects that I just didn't like like the whole teacher student relationship and I should have known that going in because I personally don't mind the taboo topic of a teacher student but I feel like this one was just kind of like weird and like disgusting I guess because I could tell that the teacher like it wasn't genuine like you could just tell that the teacher was very much used like a user like if you will so that is my thoughts on this book I will be moving on to the next book in this video which is going to be King of Wrath by Anna Hong and this is the first book in the Kings of Sin trilogy and this was also on the list of books that Goodreads is recommending based on my five star recommendations so I'm hoping to like this book I have read from Anna Hong before and really enjoyed my time reading her books so I'm definitely interested to see if I'm going to like this book so I I will pop in and update you guys again once I have started King of Wrath. So I wanted to give an update on my progress in King of Wrath. So I am over the halfway mark at this point. I'm currently at 67% and so far I'm really enjoying this. Like I'm having a really good time with this book and the story. So I have been reading it on my Kindle. I've been doing a mix of like reading physically and on my Kindle just because it is on Kindle Unlimited as well. But I'm currently on page 257 and I am really enjoying this so far. Like it is is your dark-ish because it's not really dark or at least in my opinion it's not dark but it's like dark adjacent with like a revenge plot uh, basically selling off the daughter of a diamond company to marry into this other family that is also um, very wealthy and essentially there is blackmail involved and so the person being blackmailed is trying to get one over on the father of the girl that he's supposed to be marrying and so essentially that's like the vibes it's like arranged marriage like a um, forced proximity type situation and so far I'm really enjoying it like I'm having a really good time it's not the best piece of literature I've ever read but it's fun it's not my favorite Anna Hong book that I've ever read either I think that spot has to go to Twisted Games but I have only read the first two in the Twisted series and then this will be the third book that I'm reading from this author but I am still having a really good time I really enjoy the writing style I'm enjoying the storyline I'm having a really good time I definitely see myself giving this maybe three or four stars I don't think that this will be a five star book for me but I do see myself continuing on with the series once I'm finished with this but I am about to go read some right now I did just get home from work I've changed into my pajamas and now I'm going to uh, warm up some dinner that I meal prepped eat dinner and read for the rest of the evening so those are the vibes for now the vibes for the night but I will more than likely update you guys once I finish reading this book and get ready to move on to the next book that I'm planning on reading in this video hello hello so I wanted to give a bit of an update and let you guys know that I finished King of Wrath by Anna Huang last night and I've decided to give this book three and a half stars. I really enjoyed this book. I thought that it was
it was a fun time a very quick read i felt like it took me a little bit longer to read this than i had anticipated but i had a really good time so we're following vivian she is the daughter of a jewelry mogul essentially and she is being forced to marry dante who is the head of like a conglomerate and so essentially you're following them as this like arranged marriage forced proximity enemies to lovers type of situation unfolds i like i said really enjoyed this book decided to give it three and a half stars i really enjoy anna hong's writing it's so easy to read and the story was super quick and easy to get into so i definitely appreciated that with this book and i definitely do see myself continuing on with the series so i definitely am going to have to go pick up the second book it is also on kindle unlimited which is super awesome so if you have been thinking about picking up this series and you have kindle unlimited now's your chance so that is my update on king of wrath so now that I am officially finished with this book, I'll be moving on to the final book for this video, which is going to be The Women by Kristen Hanna. So I got this from Book of the Month and I don't really know anything about this book. I know that Kristen Hanna usually writes historical fiction. So I'm definitely interested to see. I'm not the biggest historical fiction fan. I haven't found any that I have loved thus far. So I'm definitely interested to see what my girl, Miss Kristen Hanna does. So with that being said, this is the next book that I'm going to start and I will update you guys again once I have an update and I have started the women hello okay so I wanted to come in and give my first update on the women by Kristen Hanna so I started this earlier today I am currently on page 152 which is the start of chapter 13 and already I am absolutely loving this book I have said previously I'm not the biggest fan of historical fiction and I feel like that is very true but I feel like there's just something about the way that Kristen Hanna has started this story the way that she has written this book that is so intriguing it's so interesting and it's keeping me hooked like from the beginning like I am enjoying this book so much like as of right now this feels like it's more than likely going to be a five-star read like I feel like the hype behind Kristen Hanna is so real because I'm just like how have I never read a book from her before like this is so good so far and I'm only 150 pages in like I am absolutely loving this like it's giving five-star vibes like I feel like this book is just gonna hit so hard like already like I know that this isn't a romance but I feel like there is some underlying potential for a romance to happen in this book and that I am literally so here for it like I know that not every book needs to have romance in it but I feel like whenever there is just a little hint of romance like I eat it up so I feel like that there's a potential for a romance to happen in this book and I'm so excited and I'm hoping that it works out and that it's not going to absolutely destroy me at the end I have seen people reading this book and they have been sobbing at the end so I am a little nervous about that but like I said I'm absolutely loving this book and I think I'm probably about to go to bed here soon because it is just after 10 o'clock so I'm thinking that I want to go to bed but I do see myself probably finishing this book tomorrow I do have about 300 pages about 310 or so pages left in this so I definitely do see myself more than likely finishing this tomorrow but but I know that this is the first Kristen Hanna book that I've ever read but if you have not read from Kristen Hanna please do yourself a favor and pick up a book from her because literally they are so good so amazing and I am starting to understand the hype and why everyone says to read her books and I definitely feel like once I'm done with this video I will do an even more extensive dive into her backlist and reading more books that she has published because this was her most recent release so I definitely see myself reading from her from here on out but yeah that is my update so far on the women and I will keep you guys updated as I continue reading this book and this story so with that being said I will update you guys again a little bit later
I've been sitting here and I've been reading The Women by Kristen Hanna and I am on page 368 which is like right at the beginning of chapter 29. Like I am just so like I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know. Like I'm actually so like shook and taken aback by the fact that this was just revealed like i'm actually so i'm so surprised like i i, I thought oh. um. i thought that what might happen would have actually like happened but to see it actually play out oh my god like i am i'm heartbroken for frankie like oh my god and so i'm just like i don't even know how the rest of this is gonna play out like i hope everything works out for frankie and yeah i don't know rye can kick rocks actually so that's where i'm at right now i know navy's been barking this this whole clip so i'm gonna stop recording but rye can kick rocks Hello. Okay, so I wanted to report that I've officially finished The Women by Kristen Hanna, and I am giving this book five stars. Like, are we honestly surprised though? Because I feel like anytime you hear anyone talking about a Kristen Hanna book, they're giving it five stars, and I feel like it is a well earned five stars. This book was amazing. Like, so essentially, we're following Frankie, and her brother has just left to go to the Vietnam War and she is like you know what I think I want to sign up to go to war and be a nurse over there and then that way I can be with my brother and I can help people and you know get more out of my life than what I feel like I'm getting currently right now and so not too long after she enlists her brother is actually killed in action and so Frankie decides that she still wants to go over there to see what she can do to help even though her brother has passed and so essentially we are following Frankie while she goes to war to be a nurse and we follow her during her two tours in Vietnam for two years and then we follow her once she returns home and honestly this book was just so so good like I just cannot even put into words how I feel about this book like I was expecting to cry while reading this I did not there were a couple times that I felt like I was going to kind of tear up a little bit but for the most part like I did find myself not really super sad there were some like obviously heartbreaking moments but nothing that I felt moved to tears over but that is not saying that this was not a sad story that there were not sad elements and that I couldn't see why people were crying while reading this book but but I just have to say that this was absolutely amazing and I'm so so happy to have read and finished this book but now that I have officially finished this book that means that that is the end of this video I was able to read three books in this video one that I ended up giving a three star which was The Teacher by Frida McFadden and then I was able to read King of Wrath which I also gave three and a half stars and then of course The Women by Kristen Hanna which I ended up giving five stars so this video did produce a five star read which that seems to be the general consensus when I do this video is that I generally will get at least one five star book which has been the case in both times that I have filmed this video so I feel like that is working for me so I love to see that but yeah so that is going to be all for today's video if you liked it please make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me I will have all of my social media linked in the description if you've made it to this point in the video leave the helicopter emoji for the women and with that being said I will see you guys in my next video bye